we kind of like. Did walked. you see Andrew WK? I didn't. There, oh. I've actually never seen him, which stinks because I I am a fan and like I yeah. Do, Tell I have me about that. Yeah, I, sorry. I know I'm keeping you past your bedtime, no, it's but fine. I'm, I'm fascinated. I, have a, um, I just had to do the dishes after this. I have a T-shirt in my closet, um, which is a photo of the famous moment where Fabio got hit in the face by the With bird, the bird. On the <laughs> and his yeah. face covered in blood, and it just going, has going back to the roller coaster. Yes. Yeah. There you go. And that's a callback, my friends. Um, but it's that's Fabio. How you do it with the bloody nose and then underneath it says andrew wk i get wet and it's just a riff off wow the... i don't think i've ever seen that i need to find the artist i have several shirts from yeah. them i think that's i think that's also foul peralta on his it's f-o-u-l peralta like jake peralta from brooklyn uh -huh. Nine, nine but yeah they do like right I... which i have to watch the last season of this? wherever it is would you i don't know if you'd be able to see this like this yeah. is an example of something that they do Right, right. You know, it's just that kind of dumb stuff, but it makes me laugh. Oh, this one made me laugh today. It's it's Jim Carrey and the Smiths. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, that's literally it's, all it's it is. It's believable. It's five seconds of Photoshop. Like you've got two minutes yeah. to late night. You've got five it's, minutes to Photoshop here, and but it's funny. A good idea is a good idea, you know. Yeah, I think it's really funny. So, how much? I, what do you know about Andrew WK beyond the surface level? Oh, I read do that you know anything? Entire, I read that entire like. Two hundred page article about Mike Steve. Yeah, I I know the Steve whole thing. Mike. Yeah, yeah, I know the whole thing. Um, I read that whole article. It took me like an hour and a half. I was, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I'm reading. Oh like, my god! I'm well, you should read the journal. I don't know when you read that, but there has been there's been some developments in the past I few years. Read, well, that article, whenever that article came out, you know, I read it maybe a year ago. Um, okay. Could have, could have been. Stuff has come up right now. He's doing the act of like being a normal guy because he's engaged to Kat Denning. Yeah, and he also deleted all his social. He's completely disappeared. He deleted everything. He just disappeared. Yeah, I think he's except he's on some of Kat Denning's stories. I think he's like resetting, or he's you know preparing himself for the scariest act yet. We have no idea. Well, that's um, that's exactly what I think because I I go really deep into this, and that I actually yeah. I didn't I wasn't pre uh thinking I would show this, even though I had it queued up just in case, but I actually started an Andrew WK show about a year ago or so. Oh. Like, I, th this is like the phantom thing. It's like such a rabbit hole that I like, it's impossible to talk about, like, without like everyone's head fucking yeah, we, just exploding. We could have just done a whole hour on that. That, well, that would have just been you'll, good. you'll be on my Andrew WK show okay. because the format of that will just be like, because I was basically doing this, but before I discovered the technology to like do this live and with all this, you know, yeah, I was editing and it's like too much post production on a something that's not making me money, if you know what I mean. I, yeah, trust me, I know what that's like. I released yeah. music in 2022, so yeah, I know, I know exactly yeah. what that's like. So that's the beauty of this. I don't. I don't have to do anything with this once it's done. It, it lives on and I've already edited it live, but I've kind of arc like one of my pandemic ish obsession projects was just archiving like his entire history. Okay. This was before he disappeared. So I kind of was like, we knew something was brewing because like his new album's just super, super, super weird and his, and his new music videos and everything. And I'm like, I saw him for the first time in like 2003. I've met him briefly a couple times. You know, like he used to own Santos Party House uh, yes. in New York City. Mm -hmm. I saw him perform there fronting Marky Ramone's band, singing all Ramone songs. Okay. Like, sure, I've seen him do not? three plus hour lectures at NYU. So I've been a fan for a long time, going back to like two. It was the release day of his second album so what 2002 or three mm -hmm. 20 years ago almost yeah wow fuck that's crazy, right that's crazy. yeah that makes you know what that makes me what? old <laughs> <laughs> listen we're all we're all there i uh, i have a big concert coming up in october that i just bought tickets for and i'm like i am gonna have to put dr shoals inserts in my shoes is shoot. it x <laughs> No, it's uh, it's Algernon Cadwallader. I'm gonna try to go see them in New York, and I just got tickets for Philly. I don't know what that is. They're what like is the the kings of Midwest emo. 
Well, I think I'm going to end the show with my uh, the the <laughs> intro to my Andrew WK show. Great. Just to entice yeah. you and anyone else who's listening that maybe I'll bring this back soon because I'm going to have some free time on my hands. And the whole thing is like, so yeah, I started explaining this. I archived his entire history and then I started going back through it. And I collected a lot of like artifacts and like rare projects that he did like pre Andrew WK and stuff like that. Like I have the physical media to like talk about. Um, and it's a crazy adventure and I want to go from from A to B, it'll take me years. But like with the whole like knowledge of everything we know about him now, kind of revisit the history and like see where the clues, where where was he laying the breadcrumbs that we just didn't get it like 20 years mm -hmm. ago? You know what yeah. I mean? With okay. it's like it's seeing it through a new lens. And um yeah, I'm gonna say you're gonna have to come join me on one of those adventures. We'll explore some Andrew WK history, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, 30, 29 hours left. Fucking donate to the cause and let's get this doc. You know, this documentary, it's going to happen either way, but uh, the more you grease the wheel, the easier it's going to be. You know what I mean? It's a DIY punk rock grassroots passion project. And if that's not worth giving five bucks for just that sentence, you know, I don't know what is. And now something completely unrelated, except it's another conceptual artist. But we didn't know that when he first came <laughs> out. It's the Andrew WK Files with. And yes, I did the, do the music as well. <laughs>